Okay, Jeff Grubb here, gonna show you how to download Windows 10, even if you don't have the Windows Update app on your system for whatever reason. First thing you're gonna need to do is figure out whether you have a 32-bit or 64-bit copy of Windows. Uh, the reason is because is Windows has two different tools depending on which chipset you have. So to figure this out, you're gonna need to open up your system files and kind of figure out what's in there. To do this, hit your Windows key and type in system. From there, you can either open up the system uh, settings or PC info on Windows 8. Uh, I opened up PC info and it says right there 64 bit under system type. Uh, you should be able to see it. Here's a picture of it uh, in, in the system menu as well. From here, you're going to want to, have, go, want to go ahead and download the correct tool. Um, here it is on our website, but I'll also include links in the description. So if you have the 64 bit tool, just click here or if you have a 32-bit tool, you would click up there. We're going 64-bit, so let's click here and get started. Once you do that, go ahead, install it, run it, and get it up and running. It takes a second to kind of load up, but once it is, you're going to want to say, uh, upgrade this PC now when it asks what you want to do. And then you just got to wait. This is, is going to take quite a while because it's downloading, I think, about 5 gigabytes of data. Uh, it's downloading all the Windows 10 files. So you're just going to sit around and kind of wait. And then it's going to verify your download. Once it does that, it'll create the Windows 10 media. That takes a while as well. It'll prepare. It's going to say it's checking your PC. And you're kind of going to have to like sit here and go through all these options for a very long time until finally you get to the terms, uh, yeah, the terms of service. You're going to want to accept that unless you have some issue with it and then you finally get to choose what to keep. Now, uh, I think for most people, and it did this for me, I know it did for at least one other person, when you do choose what to keep, it actually just automatically makes this decision for you, and it doesn't even really give you the option at this point. But you will have the option to change it later. So just go ahead and hit Next, and then you're just gonna have to wait again while it gets some more updates. And then it's gonna do a few more checks, and then it'll be ready to install. And it's here where you can make the selection about whether or not you wanna uh, change what you're keeping, all your personal files and your apps and your settings, or just one of the three, for example. Okay, and then you just hit install, and from there it just goes off and it, it takes care of the rest. Uh, for me, I, uh, I stopped my video recording here at this point because you, know, you can't really record or uh, take screenshots with your system uh, once it's uh, decided to start restarting. So we stopped there. But from there, the process just kind of kicks over. It, it reboots your system a few times, and then you're in Windows 10. So that's kind of it. It's a pretty basic uh, method. It does take a long time, though. So if you have any questions, if you're running into any issues, let us know in the comments. Let us know on the article on VentureBeat.com, and we'll try to help you out. Thanks for watching. See you next time.